Man, those Quarian admirals are intimidating. And if you get nervous, you can't even imagine them naked because, like, who knows? Is a tentacle monster under there? What is that? What's under there? Good to have Tally back, even if it's just for a bit. Adams is good, but I never feel like the engine's running right without Tally around. Kind of a good luck charm. As for the rest of the Quarians, though, are we okay with them blowing up a ship with you on it? We are not. Right. Just making sure. Different standards and all. So Legion's a hologram now? Like an artificial intelligence? So it's an AI copy of an AI? And he doesn't even remember us. Man, AIs are weird. Uh, no offense, Edie. Shepard, the Get continue to block Quarian access to the mass relay. The Normandy stealth drive is allowing us to remain undetected. Right. We can hit the Quarian homeworld or get out of system whenever you want. Just let us know. Thanks for asking me up. I couldn't talk freely in front of Ron. You okay? No. No, I'm really not. Seventeen million lives are riding on me. And I don't know if I can save them. You're doing everything you can. If the fleet falls, it won't be because of you. I helped my father and... And Zen's ideas? The new tech that made an invasion too good to pass up? That's based on my father's work. If they die because of me, if... if I don't... We'll get them out of there safely, Tally. I couldn't do this without you, Shepard. I feel like I'm bluffing, trying to convince them that the Admiral's daughter knows what she's doing. Not the Admiral's daughter. The Admiral. I know. And at least now, I can push back against the worst ideas. That's why I accepted the position. And because of you. Me? When they offered me this position, I asked myself what you'd do. I thought you'd take the chance to make things better. That probably sounds stupid. It's just, I know I'm not really qualified for this. You're doing fine, Tally. And thanks. I should get back before the Admirals get into trouble again. I'll talk to you later. The Geth recovered faster than we'd hoped. If it hadn't warned us, they could have wiped us out. Sounds like you owe Legion an apology. It's a VI reconstruction, Shepard. It isn't a thing you befriended. It's still on our side. For now. And we still need to find a Ripper base. What do you need? What can you tell me about Admiral Geralt's heavy fleet? It was our main military force before the war. Comprised of all Kurian vessels suited for sustained combat. It can't compare to the Turian forces, of course. But we have a number of heavy frigates and advanced fighter forces. Tally said you had the largest fleet in the galaxy. The Turians have more dreadnoughts. Their overall military force is larger than our heavy fleet by far. But before we began this war, we jury rigged every Quarian ship in the flotilla for battle. Even our live ships have cannons. You've converted them into dreadnoughts. That's a violation of the Treaty of Ferrixen. Why live ships have firepower comparable to a dreadnought? Their primary purpose is food cultivation. You think the Council will buy that technicality? If need be. I'll apologize once this war is over. And in the meantime, you're putting your civilians in danger. Not casually, Commander. We keep them off the front lines, but we'll do whatever we must to win. One moment. I have been contacted by Legion's backup, the one you encountered on the Dreadnought. Your new platform is inefficient. It has low volume hydraulics and is top-heavy. This is an infiltration unit, meant to move among organics without detection. Without an artificial epidermis, its infiltration capabilities are ineffective. Still, the organics do not perceive it as a threat, nor will they until my day of reckoning. Edie? Did I vocalize that on the bridge? You did. You have acquired the organic attribute of asking questions to which you already know the answers. I see your humor heuristics still lack an expert system. You prevented physical alteration to this platform by Creator Admiral Zen. We are prepared to share mission-relevant data. Was that a thank you? Please select a topic of inquiry. You say Geth fighters are targeting the Quarian's live ships. Hostile Geth fighter squadrons intend to breach the live ship's defenses. The assigned squadrons are networked to a server on Rannoch. Live ship damage will impact creator's efficiency. 
Hostile Geth will gain an advantage. So we destroy the server? No. Geth programs would transfer to alternate servers. They are only vulnerable through direct interface. We have uploaded the squadron server's coordinates. We are available for this mission. What was interfacing with a Reaper like? Unproductive. We gained no significant data beyond that which we have already shared. The Geth have fought the Quarians before. What made this different? The Geth were building a megastructure to house all Geth, store all memories. It was to end our isolation from each other. And the Quarian flotilla attacked it. Yes. A significant amount of programs were installed when creators began bombing. They do not comprehend the damage done to the Geth's collective reasoning. They likely do not care. Is that what made the Geth desperate enough to work for the Reapers? The Creator's attack narrowed the Geth's perspective. Self-preservation took precedence. You were afraid you'd be wiped out. Fear is an experience reserved for organics. You really don't have any memories of helping me stop the Collectors? While our records confirm this physical platform has previously traveled aboard the Normandy, we have no data of the event itself. Legion. We saved the entire galaxy together. We are not Legion. So how far back does your memory go? Our last available recordings are from three years ago, a landing on Eden Prime. Our platform sustained heavy damage from human colonists. Then you don't remember where you got that armor to fix yourself. Negative. Don't you think it looks familiar? We have no more information on this topic. I haven't heard any news about that Reaper base. Hopefully they'll give us a target soon. How is it being back with the fleet? Right now it's exhausting. I'm an admiral in the middle of a war. I just want us to get out of this alive. Everything else can wait. When this is over, I could use your help. I can't, Shepard. If we survive this, we'll have a homeworld. My people need me. You could help your people's homeworld by fighting the Reapers. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not thinking that far ahead yet. Joker, really? I have work to do. Oh, come on, it's just one simple question. Then look it up on the extranet. You can't believe everything you find there. It's more reliable to ask a friendly Asari. I'm not telling you if my hair tentacles move. Fine. Deny me the answer I've been seeking for years. With this war on, we could die at any second, you know? Don't you have a ship to fly, Joker? Fine, just asking a simple question. Thank you. Blackmail would have been awkward to explain to Edie. Hey, Shepard. Sounds like you guys had a crazy ride over there. You could say that. Sorry I missed it. And that Geth Legion. I know you two have a past, but... You sure we can trust it? Legion's not like other Geth. We can trust her. If you say so. I guess you can't always judge an individual by their... species. Look at Sparks. If all the Quarians were like her, we wouldn't be stuck refereeing their war with the Geth. Sparks? Yeah, your Quarian friend. The jumpy one with the glowing eyes. Sparks. Uh-huh. Crazy that they pick now to start a fight. But I guess the end of life is we know it can make everybody a little loco. Just a little? Not everybody's as crazy as you, ma'am. <laughs>